This is the Above the Corner Podcast, where entrepreneurs and others share their success stories about overcoming their own personal corners in life. And now it's time to get into it with your host, Chef Ron. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, what's Let's up, y'all? We back with another episode of Above the Corner Podcast. This time we brought back an alumni guest. This brother was with us when we first started the podcast. It was only right we brought him back. We got Mr. Nostalgia himself, Tony McCraven. Tony, what's going on, my brother? Good, man. Ain't nothing, man. You know, we had to bring you back. You know, um, I think it's safe to say that uh, both of our audiences have grown since the last time we've seen each other on the podcast. So we're going we gonna to act like we ain't even do that episode. You know what I mean? We're going we gonna to get back to the story and nostalgia and all that. We're okay. going to revisit that and tell everybody what's going on with you, what you got going on now, and what you got coming up and all of that. Okay. So go ahead and introduce yourself to the people to let them know who you are. Peace, peace. My name is Tony McCraven, owner of Nostalgia. It's a regular dude, man, just out here just... Giving his gift to the world, man. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty okay. much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh what year did you start nostalgia? Uh I wanna say I started nostalgia about two thousand fifteen, two thousand sixteen. Okay. Oh, you got some you got some yeah, some, yeah, some time yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I just started yesterday. Right, right. Like, yeah, yeah, it always feel like that. You I be looking back on my Facebook memories like, God damn, like I've really been going at it this long. Like And I put it out like this. Right, right, right. You <laughs> see the old shit, you like, hell no. Right, right. Yeah, but uh what what made you I mean jump into the uh the cosmetic line? Well, I mean I fell into like a like a like a a space where I wanted to work for myself. All my peers was doing something, you know, for themselves and Okay. I did a little research and the the top three um, industries back then, well not back then, right now still was gasoline being number two, okay. um, electricity being number one, okay. cleaning supplies being number four, and cosmetics, hygiene being number, number three. three. Mm. Yeah, so. I know I ain't got no, I ain't got no uh, ga- gasoline or no petroleum bread, yeah. so yeah, so none of that. So I just jumped into soap. I feel like uh, everybody got to wash their ass once yeah. or twice a day. So if I can get ten people to do that, cool. And then if they like it, or even if they don't like it, you know, yeah. they tell somebody and go from there. So that's how it all kind of, kind of went. G. So you started with soap. Well, I started with the with some oil, man, with some butter. I was making. I had locks. Uh, I was locking my for about 15 years. And I was making this product for this, uh, for my um, loctician to do my hair. Okay. And then um, she was liking, I, cut, I mean, I didn't cut my hair at that time. She liked the product. She wanted me to make some for her. And then it became a thing. And then my homegirl, Keisha Roberts, was like, yo, Tony, you should really do this. So yeah. uh, it just went from there, G. Um, the name came way before the 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 product i mean okay. i already knew i was gonna have nostalgia as a business just didn't know what i was gonna do so okay so you already you already had the name in the top yeah you like since i was like 11 12. i knew i didn't want to have no job I okay i didn't want to be no employee per se but yeah that, that name was already already locked in yeah tell the people what uh, nostalgia means to you nostalgia is a wishful thinking of the past okay by smell taste touch it's a sense mm-hmm. you know like um it may be your, your your old lady cologne, I mean perfume or something like that, mm-hmm. right? And you walk past somebody or walk past a, a fragrance spot and you smell it and you think you think it's shorty. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Or uh, a food uh sweet potato pie or something like that that somebody think about make. your grandma or something. Right, facts. So I just want you to go back to, you know, a, a nostalgic thought, like a, a feeling. I want you to feel confident if that's when you 18 or when you 68. Like, yeah. But I want you to smell good and look good and shine bright while you're doing it. Okay. And that was kind of the gist of it, yeah. So like like most entrepreneurs, I'm assuming you started out of the crib? Yeah, out of, out of, out of Gulfport, Mississippi, G, out of, out of the crib. Okay. Yeah. How was it when you first started? Like as far as did you did you take off immediately or was there like a little you had to build your you had to build your shit up? Nah, I actually did. I'm not even gonna front. Like I was in the I was in the green for what I thought was the green at the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I hit all my my personal goals. Now looking back, I know I wasn't really hitting the green, but it wasn't it was never like a red spot. Like, yeah. Um yeah, like my first two, three years probably was the best years as in productivity right in a sense um when i started i didn't let nobody even know it was my business i had a large following on social media for being ignorant for real just saying yeah, yeah. whatever and then i was like you know what let me see something and i just started posting never told nobody it was mine or nothing and yeah then, um that was smart 
Yeah, I have reached out to this young lady out of California uh, named Caitlin Flowers. She was a model, uh, expiring model at the time, and she mm-hmm. had like uh, some tea lines. She had some sponsors by some teas and stuff. Okay. And I was like, yo, um, I'm making this product. Do you mind just trying it? Yeah. You know, even if you don't, if you like it, talk good about it. If you don't like it, talk bad about it. I'll give you a discount code and just, just use it. You yeah. Know? Um, she did that. She enjoyed the product at okay. the time. And, you know, um, so I started posting it. And like I said, she had a large California following. Mm-hmm. And my peers didn't didn't know her. So it was like, oh, shit, who is this chick Tony got yeah. posting? You know, I, my thought process was I want my peers to um, support me, but I want them to support me because they like, need, or really want the product. Not just because you they homie. Right. Yeah. Nah, yeah, right. So I ain't never want to kind of like get my, be dependent on my inventory to be purchased by six of my family members once a month. Right. So now nah, I just wanted to reach out and I realized when people see something that they don't know or wasn't familiar with, then I had a large following, like a large following. So just kind of went from there, man. And just been trying to create this story from there. Okay. Did you, um, did you walk away from the work field? And, and jump into nostalgia, or was you still? I was used? fired, G. Okay, okay. That, that <laughs> no, sounds like no, no, most no, most no, of no, our no. stories no, is, no, is realistic, similar to that. Real, realistic, realistic. Um, I was working at AT and T, making good money, f- being in Mississippi. You know okay. what I'm saying? Making pretty good money. Yeah. Um, and I knew I I really didn't want to work, but I wasn't going to quit. And I understood if I work there for a year, I can get unemployment. Okay. Right? Boom. Um, so my manager at the time, I was like, look, boss, whatever you got, whatever you need to write me up for, write me up. Yeah. I ain't quitting. Like, honest to God. He's like, okay. You know, so you lined it up. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I wasn't, I wasn't working bad. I mean, I wasn't doing a bad job. But yeah. Just don't give me no leeway. Right, you know right, what right. I mean? Like, if I ain't getting all the clicks or something like that. Yeah. Like handle business, right. you know what I'm saying? Boom, and I already, I mean, you know, at, at the at the call centers, they be, um, you know, they tell you to box your stuff up. It's time to oh, go. Oh, it's time to roll, yeah. yeah. But see, I, I already already on it. I already yeah. had my. I was just bringing a book bag. That's it. You know, I'm ready to go. So like a month, I mean, like a maybe fifteen, like three months after my year, got laid off. Um, only thing I wanted to have paid is my rent. And yeah. in Mississippi, my rent at the time was like 800 Living on the beach. You know good, what I mean? Good like old days. from the beach, right. Unemployment was about $800. My rent, no, I'm just going to lie. My rent was like 720 at the time. Okay. My unemployment was 800 Okay. Rent paid, cool. Let me, I can figure this out. You yeah. Know, I can figure all the other stuff out. My goal at the time was only make $40 a day. Okay. Which, you know, I had like a year or like nine months of unemployment. So I knew rent was good. Yeah. So I had time to kind of explore, you know, this, that, and the third. So just kind of popped from there, man. Just try to make $40 a day. And then 40 went from 80, 80 went from 160, 200 to 300. Try to make 300 a day is my, my, my current goal. The current goal. Yeah. 300 a yeah. day is a cool day for me. 300 a day. That's like, that's like nine grand, about nine grand. That's like, that's like a hundred. A year down yeah. there, right? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's that's my goal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a good goal. It's good. It's always good to have yeah. goals, you know, because we always got to reach higher heights. We right. got to go to new levels and shit. You never want to stay stagnant, especially if you're working for yourself. Like you right. said, it's shit we need and we want in life as entrepreneurs, you know, staying stuck in the middle is not really, it's not sufficient for us. Um. Okay. So you was down in Mississippi. When, when did you come back to VA? I moved back. 2017 2018 okay was it was it i know you was you lived here already right 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 right. so right. was it really wasn't hard to you with just coming back was it no i had see here i had more resources like i had okay. more creative friends in mississippi like i got don't get me wrong i got some dope individuals but it's hard to kind of hustle in your backyard you yeah know, per se you mm-hmm. know um but i knew virginia was bigger faster and that's what really all my social media following was outside of you know, Mississippi. So when I came back, you know, um, hit the ground running. Like, yeah. I was doing pop-ups. And, yeah. And this one, that's, was, when, was, that's, that's when pop-ups was. Gee, I was in the club. The yeah. table. In the club. 
What? <laughs> in the club. like Real was, trap shit. In the club. I was in, well, Queensway. Okay. I was in um, Charm Lounge. Okay. Yeah, I was outside, man. Like, Hennessy, Hennessy. Hennessy and Grandma, yeah, right here, yeah, yeah. Come, come out, let me real quick. Yeah, yeah. Right. Come get the, come get this bottle of shea butter nah, real for quick. Real, for real, G. Just go home with. For real, G. Yeah, that's 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 definitely nah. that's some hustling mentality right there. You said um you can't hustle in your backyard. That hit because you know I'm from Jersey and I I didn't have no entrepreneurial plans when I was in Jersey. You know, like you said, yeah. I, I I got I came down here and got taken out of my comfort zone. So it was like, and you know, coming from up there down here, the pay rate totally different. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I I took like, when I first moved down here, I took like half of what I was making, pay cut right, right, right. type shit. You know what I mean? Then it was like, I got into the industry out here, fine dining industry and shit. And it's like, they was pimping the shit out of me. You feel me? Like, as soon as I walk into work, yeah, you got to make a soup from scratch. You got to make a special. You got to make a, a, this they, every day too. They want you to create. Yeah, a brand new you, soup yeah. from scratch. You got to create a special. You got to make a demo special so we can taste it to make sure that it can go out by lunchtime. I'm getting there at 7. They want all this. And you got to prep this whole prep list. Lunch starts at 11. I'm walking in the door at 7 o'clock. Got to do all that. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? And I'm like, I got to the point. I'm like, man, if I can do this for them every day, I know I can do this shit for myself. You feel me? But like I said, even though if I was still in Jersey, I would have still just been working jobs and shit, jumping from job to job. I got taken out of my comfort zone. And I'm like, I got I got to make shit happen myself. You feel me? So yeah, VA definitely. I want to ask you a question. Okay, is is the food industry easy? No, it's I mean because you know I'm not in it by by any means. Not by a long shot. I'd be like, God damn, all these all they gotta do is just make it look good and fill it up. In my opinion, it's nah, good. it's a lot, bro. <laughs> it's a lot because you know for one we got to deal with the customers and shit. So you got to deal with all types of different. I like your I like your promote your like the way you your your I don't want to say character online because I know that you are every day all yeah, yeah. starting on you but your uh my online personality I guess you could for say sure that, right? I like that yeah, shit. yeah 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 hey you niggas hurry up you don't want nothing don't come get it fuck yeah, it. don't yeah, worry yeah. about it yeah me so I'm so chill I'm laid back I just be like yo I mean I can't be like yo, yeah I be I trying can't. to create I be trying to create the uh, fear of missing out nah yeah, yeah. legit you know legit. what I mean you create the legit. fear of missing out like. That's why I only do a certain amount of plates and shit. Because once that it. shit sold out, then they be like, damn, I, I got to get to him next know. time. You know what I mean? And I Versus, like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, it. yeah. So um, let's bring up the speed. You know, um, you're not in the, you, you got a store, you still got the storefront? I'm not in the store. I'm not, uh, I don't have the, um, the suite per se, but I am in the storefront and the salon. Okay. Um, Flawless Air Studios. 9505 Warwick Boulevard, Newport News, Virginia. Okay. Corner Center in Warwick. She actually has the um, Flawless Hair Studios. Right next door is uh, Belle June Suites. My product is in there as well. Okay. And then the barber shop next door. I'm not sure what they just named that, but they just opened it up. That's Keisha's as well. I'll be in there also. Okay. So you, and you don't got to be in store. You just drop your products up or do you be in store? No. So it's, I got products in the storefront. And then, okay. like, so if people do, um, Online shopping, mm -hmm. I have a pickup option. Okay. That's the guarantee. They'll get a um, email saying that they order is ready, pick up from there. Okay. Or they can buy directly from the stylist, whatever option. I also okay. do a lot of, majority of my sales come from shipping though. Okay. So you still got the, you got the, you got the fan base outside of the hand. Oh, for hand. sure. For sure. That's, that's, that's majority, you know, where, where everything is. Don't get me wrong. Um, I get a lot of local love and, yeah. and a lot of the, um, a lot of the clients that the stylists always promote and use okay. the product. So I make sure I keep them stocked up to apply on their clients. So yeah. That promotes You've always sales. had the um the online and the um the shipping presence. Right. You know, that's the first time we linked. I right, copped right. off you. We was down in Mississippi. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I copped off you. I think I ordered like three of them joints. I remember one of them was completely empty. I guess it was probably too hot. Melt, probably melted and it melted so, yeah. out. And you, you got me right when you came back to VA and everything. But um yeah, you were shipping back. This is back when nah, yo, people weren't even on that shipping shit like that. You was on it back then. Man, I like when I, I tell you not, like averaging between forty and sixty orders going out. But but at when I This back then? Yeah. Okay. For sure. Dang. For sure. Um it was much I wasn't I wasn't really making no money though, in the sense because I was just You were staying afloat. You wasn't really seeing no profit. 
I was charging when I first, first started. Well, I tried to give it away at first. Nobody wanted it. But I put a little price tag on it. From top to bottom, I think, you know, um, I was shipping out top to bottom for like $18, man. Not making nothing. Yeah, average average sale was eighteen dollars going on. Not out. making nothing. Yeah. Dude. From so now my average sale shopping online is between fifty four and sixty two. You know what I mean? That's, that's some different numbers. Right. And of course product you yeah, know, yeah. it costs more and stuff like that. Yeah. But I was cutting myself off, man. I was shipping, shipping, but wasn't seeing nothing, man. So yeah. I so I figured out about, you know, profit margins and all of that. So, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so it's safe to say at first you were just winging it. Yeah, hell yeah. I just wanted to. I just didn't want to have to go to work, man. Yeah. I just wanted to be like my peers and, and you know be outside. Yeah. And, and do whatever. Well, well, um, what made you get to the point where you like, all right, I gotta, I gotta do some homework. I gotta do some research because I gotta get this shit right. It's not, it's not, it's not working how I think it should be working. I'm still trying to get it right, but just knowing I don't want to have to do the hands on forever. Mm-hmm. And I, one of my goals is also to employ people. Facts. And uh, I can't do that if my business stuff ain't right. I can't do that if I ain't implement policies and procedures. So just, just you know, just trying to get that straight, man. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Okay. Um, as far as the uh, shipping shit, um, damn, where was I going? Oh, what is your, um, so you said you was 40 to 60 back then. What's, um, what's your numbers like now? Well, as no, far as uh, eight, oh, you mean, no, I mean. You said 40, 60 orders. Well, yeah, now. Uh, not that well. I can tell you. No, this, this man got he got he, <laughs> he got receipts. He came with receipts, y'all. Hold on. I am currently in my like summer's be my slowest month. Bro. Yeah, everybody my, moving every, around, vacation try, and shit. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I think some. I think some of it might be the slowest for everybody. I know the food industry. I ain't, well, I ain't gonna tell y'all my business, but I'm up. I'm up thirty six percent. Okay. I'm up thirty. Up thirty from your average from from, from, from last year. From last year. Them is good numbers, yeah, man. Yeah. Them is good numbers, man. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's important to have that. Um, you know, because I'm still trying to get my feet wet with the shipping shit. You know, we got the online bakery, and I just yeah, dropped the um, I just dropped the clothing line and shit. Okay. So it's like I be trying to the smack joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I be trying to get. A customer in Massachusetts, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like I'm still trying to figure out how I can get how we can get seen to them. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. How we can get how we can have these packages flowing right, every right. day on some on some daily type shit. So, it's, so what you trying to like? You do cakes though? Right? I do the cakes and shit. Yeah, cookies. I think we do. Yeah, the we right, right now. I, I haven't really figured out how to do international, so I'm just keeping it domestic for now. Okay, because you know. That shit got a it got a shelf life on it. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And you know, fucking with the post office, that shit, they might be on some bullshit. UPS, they gonna get there when they say they gonna get there. It's gonna be a couple of extra dollars though. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? But you know, um, yeah. So that's why we try to keep it. Um, right now, we are trying to keep it domestic. I would like to be international, but we got to figure that part out. Stores? No, I'm talking about shipping and no, shit. No, I'm asking. Do you want to be in stores like or something? Hmm. I don't know, bro. Get you some, get your patty. I, 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 I know, I know. We we working on the food truck. Okay. So you know that's like a kind of like a brick and mortar, not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if I want an actual stand still. I know. I think store. the. I think the. No, nah, I personally, my business model wouldn't be that. I'd rather be able to move and move around, around, right? Yeah. But do you want to be able to like be in like, uh, let's say like featured in coffee shops or something like that? Yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah, I would do that. Like a store, like not your storefront, but somebody else's storefront. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I never see. That's why. That's yeah. why I'll be bringing y'all on here because I ain't even think about that. Yeah, boy, we'll be at the call because they because a lot of coffee shops don't. To be transparent, don't uh, even Starbucks. They don't. Um, they don't make their baked goods in house. Nah, hell no. Right. Hell no. That shit, all you gotta do is figure out your package. We got we got some groundwork to do. Yeah, and there's a lot of local coffee shops that want to fuck with you. Yeah. So and you know, I got the I got the correct packaging and shit. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's definitely that's going on the homework list, y'all. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what uh what you got going on? You got you still got the apparel, the nostalgia apparel, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nostalgia, enjoy the feeling. Um, actually got some new pieces that's supposed to be dropping pretty soon. Okay. Um, I don't, I'm trying to do better with dropping apparel, man. I'm kind of uh, I definitely want to get into like that major market of always having this in stock like you yeah. just know for sure but it's just kind of for me i ain't 
I gotta just build my confidence up on it for real, for real. I yeah. like wearing it, but yeah, I want, I do want, I need to get in that market. So just trying to get better yeah, at promoting pieces, myself on it. all the pieces you have dropped. They fly. You feel yeah, me? They fire pieces. I, to, I, I, I ain't myself. still ain't never get my hands on nothing. I gotta, I gotta cop up. Two X. One X. All right, my bad. I ain't yeah, mean, yeah. I ain't mean to... Nah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I know I get a little, get a little. Uh... Nah, we'll get you straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get you straight. But uh, okay, so what you got? Uh, I think I seen you post. Didn't you post sometime? You was in like a factory or some shit. Yeah. So uh, it's a they will lesson learned. So I was so excited about getting someone to manufacture the product. I didn't understand policy and procedure. Like I knew how to make the product top mm-hmm. to bottom, but me giving them paper instructions, it didn't follow suit the right way. So now I know when you're doing policy and procedures with a product, take pictures as well. Okay, as, as well as the word description. Right? Okay. So they fucked my whole goddamn whole batch up. inventory up, <sighs> and it was it was trash. Or you still was able to use it? Nah, it was terrible, and oh, I, I mean. It, it really wasn't no way I could get my credit, my money back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they did do was they credit me in like product. So I think I got like maybe six, eight months of product, six, seven months of product um, to sustain me. But I was back making it myself. And then it kind of discouraged me. Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah. Um, you thought you you thought you had reached that peak. Oh, I thought I was the man. Yeah, man. you thought you reached that peak and yeah, then, then yeah. you fell back down. But I am working with a... Um, biochemist now because right now I can't technically say hey these products fix this these products fix that yeah you know I that can't would be false advertising right yeah I, 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 one I would never do that you yeah know, simply say uh, that's that sound like the FDIC coming right no, not I, FCI not uh, USDA yeah yeah um, USDA coming after that you know the, you know the products that I use the the forms that I use yeah promote this and promote that you know what I'm saying yeah I am working with a biochemist to uh actually focus on um hydrodermia is between like alopecia and like a shampoo that's why i want shampoo conditions okay I want to start okay okay that, that way i can say hey this fix that this is this slows this down okay and this is bio and this has been certified you know bioengineered exactly okay so that's what i'm i'm working on in the near near future and of course i won't be making that at that point right um We'll be getting that manufactured for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's my that's my next top tier goal that I'm that I'm working on. Okay. Yeah. So dealing with that, that's that's gonna come with that 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 um that good packaging and everything, right? Yeah. Well, to be un- meant to be transparent, I want to have packaging done even with the products that I have now, because because to be honest, packaging experience, the customer's packaging experience is the best thing yeah. that you could ever. Do of course, yeah, you got a great product, cool, but we're in a show me, tell me type of world, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And, and also, I want you to, you know, have fun while you open up the product, yeah, you know, um, and that can always get better, you know, with boxes or just implementing, you know, little stickers and stuff like that, memorabilia, yeah, and and, and that's what I've really, really been focusing on because man, this stuff right here used to come in a Chinese container, Jack, like, yeah, I remember the um, <laughs> the shea butter. They used to come smaller, and it was just the it was the uh, it was the UV black containers. It's probably, it's probably white at first. I had some. Was they white? They was white. Yeah, I had like I Yo, said. Yo, I forgot was, about the white joints. It was in a, the way you when you get your wonton soup in. It used to come in that first, G. Like the little soup joint. Oh, the plastic joint, the see through plastic shit. <laughs> oh, man. My label, my label was printed out, regular piece of paper. I'm right. I'm just taking stickers and just. But they was rocking with me. Too. Yeah, they yeah. was rocking with me. Yeah, and you 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 mentioned earlier. Um, you said you wanted to give it away, and you mentioned that um, you wasn't really seeing you wasn't seeing too much profit when you first started and shit. But that's necessary, right? You know what I mean? Because now you probably got you probably a lot of them that was rocking with you back then still rocking with you now. I know they is because I I'm still rocking. I with got you. um I have um I average between a a fifty and sixty percent retention rate. Return rate, yeah. Mm. Um, so I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons why I would assume you know people return and don't return. Right. You know the product ain't for everybody. Correct. Um, maybe may not be in people's budget, uh, and may not want to have to wait to to get it shipped. 
you know, yeah, yeah. with the customers that I do have this. I have, man, nine year customers, man, that hit me like, you remember I was buying your shit when it was yeah. coming in this Chinese container and all this. So, um, yeah, I, I have good customer retention um, yeah. right right now. Yeah, that's good. Customer retention is definitely important because, sure. like you said, you should come with an experience. You know what I mean? And the experience will bring somebody back faster than the product, just like you said. True indeed. So it's important that, you know what I mean? I, 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 like I said, I've been rocking with you since like 2017. So I've seen the growth, I've seen the development, and it's definitely, uh, it's definitely night and day. No, I appreciate it. From that. when I first started rocking with you. But, you know what I mean? Everything is, everything is lovely at this point. You want to tell the people about some of the products you got on the uh, table? Yeah, man. So I brought um, the Soul Made Butter, uh, okay. which is nine butters in one. This mm. product is poured versus the other two are, are whips. I have a mango butter and a peach butter. Right? Okay. Um, this is poured, so pretty much it's not whipped when it's um, when it's made. It's mm -hmm. just pour and let it sit like a, let's think of like a petroleum style um, blend. Uh Vanilla bean, lavender smell. Okay. A lot of the fellas like a lot. I mean, I, I, I enjoy, you know, coffee smells anyway. So yeah. it's kind of like one of my favorites per se. It don't clash with nothing. None of the none of the products really clash with anything. The two oils I have in the middle is gonna be the tropical oil, which is my number one. Uh, man, I don't know, they, they all they all do pretty well, man. I can't my oils, my tropical oil and my holistic oil, man, they do they do numbers, man. Yeah, for real, it's yeah. not. It's not a. Uh, they're both unisex smells. Mm -hmm. If you want a more of a masculine, if you want to say masculine type right. smell, of course you want to go with the holistic oil. Okay. Uh, more of a. I don't want to say floral, but more of a sweet mild. Yeah. You know, you want to go with the tropical oil. Yeah. Everything's a uh, an experience. Or, you know, you might be want to be you know put the tropical oil up top. You want to be holistic down low, however you want to do it. It's really, yeah. like I said, they go hand in hand. Yeah, uh, wifey love her. Uh, she love her oil. That's why I hit you this morning. She like, um, I told him like, yeah, I got, um, I got the podcast <laughs> with the nigga that make the, um, <laughs> the nigga that make, <laughs> the, 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 the nigga that make the soap. Yeah, she yeah, said, yeah. Oh, she was like, I, I need oil. Call him right now. Nah. She was like, I love that stuff. I put it on my hair. I put it on my skin. Nah, I put bro. it everywhere. Thank you, mom. Yeah. Um, the oil. What made you start rocking with the oil? You ain't had that at first when I first well, started rocking with you. Summertime product melt. Mm, you know what I mean? That's already liquid. It can't melt. Boom. Yeah. So that's what, like you said, I was having the issue of uh, having to replace products and stuff like that, which I don't mind. One thing about me, G, I do everything, and, and I and I mess up sometimes. Right. We Boom. all do. How can I? How can I make it right? First thing, I offer a refund. Offer to send out another product. A lot of times, I. I send out the product again and then send another refund with a coupon yeah, or something yeah. like that. You That's how you got you you gotta when you mess up you gotta you gotta overcorrect you gotta overcorrect yeah, the situation. And I, legit. And I like I said, I, I I got, you know, customers from that's international, so I try to be I try to make it seem like I'm not the only one working. Yeah. So yeah I try yeah, to be yeah, available yeah, yeah. at yep, all times. Yep. So if I gotta answer uh email because of the time me. difference and shit i'm there i yep. try my best to be yeah yeah so yeah i always try everything. you know because most of my being that we we growing now i got i got help you know what i mean we got my cameraman shout out fonzo in the building my man. for the uh reviews and shit um we got money with the podcast now you know back in back when we did the first episode i was literally doing everything right. myself you know what i mean when fonzo not around wifey just started um shoot helping me shoot the reviews I you, and I shit see, i seen you said she had the camera in her hand it yeah was, you know so we got a, we got a little team now so you know but before when it was just me i still was always speaking about my business like it was a us right i was always even when like when i was you know when i was saying i you know when i make posts and or like you said, emails and shit like that, I will always say, oh, we'll get right back to you or yeah, yeah, sure. we are glad to have you shopping with us, shit like that. But it was just me the whole time. But, you know, like you said, you want to make it seem like you're bigger than you actually are. And at the same time, I feel like that's manifesting what you want for real because you're already speaking into existence. When I be saying us and we, man, it's everybody who didn't purchase this week, right. this month, like yep. whoever bought a shirt yesterday. It's like we, like we all appreciate you because yeah. that's where I can do more for my day ones with the the new the new customers and build new experiences. So yeah, that, that we us that verb is everything. Right? Yeah. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, power, life, and death, lying yeah, the tongue for sure. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, I remember we touched on um, 
fatherhood on the last episode. Yeah. Uh, your boy's getting big. Yeah, my, my oldest son graduating next month on the eighth. My middle son won states in basketball, 4A in Vegas. Okay. Yeah, shout out to Juju in uh, Las Vegas, Sierra Vista High School. Okay. My baby boy, 13, uh, he played football, a monster. Like, I yeah. can't even, if I told you the stats, you'd think I was lying. Yeah. I, I, and I can show you, like, footage. So, um, yeah, they, they all doing good, man. Yeah. And, and uh, they one of the main reasons why I started this this yeah. uh, this journey for real for real. Yeah, so you could pass it pass it down to them one day. Hopefully. Yeah, something. So yeah, pass something down. Even if they don't even even if they don't follow suit in the style, just some kind of uh, business mindset. Right. Uh, or this right here is my my like my my storyline. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like no matter what, you know nothing. Once you put something on the internet, it don't go away. Right. So I'm, even if you delete it, it's still there. I'm on YouTube, internet. I mean, I'm, I'm, you can see me. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's just, it's kind of like me writing my story and appreciating people like you to put me on their platform yeah. and stuff like that, man. You know, your numbers be going crazy, so I might, I might get a little, yeah, it might, I might be little... featured on your journey. Right, right, so right. Might see me, so yeah. Nah, man. So just fatherhood is, it's cool. Um, I definitely want, want something for, for them to. To follow suit, I want to be bigger than Johnson Johnson and King yeah. Two and all of them. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what the, um, what do you say? This is this is this is a name you can um name you can respect. A name yeah. you can. What movie was that? Nigga was talking about uh Pepsi or some shit. He's like, this is a household name like Pepsi, like uh. Coke. It, was, it wasn't um not, not uh. It was American Gangster, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I was about yeah, to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. American Gangster, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, man. Speaking about the kids, man. My um, my oldest he in Temple. He go to Temple University. That's in uh, Philly, right? Yeah, in Philly. Yeah, my um, my middle son. He graduate next month too. So I know you proud of your. Uh, I know you proud of your I middle forgot, son. I forgot you like fifty years old. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. You know, on the low, <laughs> on the low ski. Um, yeah, and, and my oldest, he just turned twenty one. So that's another. Nah, that's, that's another. Uh, you feel me? That's another height we 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 reached. Nah. You know what I mean? It was it was at one point I didn't think I would live to see twenty one. So to live to see my son be twenty one. It's like I feel like I won already. You feel nah, me? Nah, nah, legit. Yeah. So middle you, son, middle so, son graduated. Go ahead. No, no, my bad. My okay, bad. middle son graduate next month. He going to um, what's the name of the school? Rowan. He going to Rowan. Okay. Yeah. So where's that at? Uh, Jersey, South Jersey. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So to see them doing good, they 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 never was attracted to the streets, and that's all I wanted. Nah, you know true. what I mean? And they seen me. They seen me go through everything I went through. You know what I mean? And they chose to do the positive side of the shit they seen me doing. Like my oldest, when he not working in the summer and shit, well, he working now, but like, I don't think he worked last summer at all. He was selling plates. Word. Yeah, because every time they would come to Virginia to see me, even if I didn't have no plans on cooking when they was down here, or I didn't feel like it, or I might they to fuck that cooking it. shit. Nah, I made it a point to do a pop-up when they was down here, uh-huh. and I would take them with me to do deliveries. So you could, I could show them, this is how you get your own money. They, they me? cook too, or? yeah. They cook. They both went to. Uh, they both took culinary. Okay, well, when they well, was well. in um, when they was in high school and shit. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, my, my middle son he cooked too, but older son he was selling plates and shit. So, I'm like, nah, shit, that's shit up. definitely rubbed off. So did you, did you push school on him or? Nope. See, my jit, he graduated. I don't know what he want to do, man. I don't. At one point, he wanted to be an entrepreneur and be an artist. And yeah. I'm promoting that. I said, look, man, go be a nurse or something right now. If you don't want to be an entrepreneur, yeah. man, and rock, I said, come rock with your pop, man. Come see something. But I, I would love him to go to school to be a nurse. Yeah. And, and, and then. And use that to fund his dream. That's why I try, I try to tell a lot of people, like, you know, I probably said this on right, every episode we've been on since I've been rocking with Monty. Yeah, yeah. The, the job is not the end that's not the end game you feel me the job is nothing but the vehicle to drive you to the destination of your dreams man use that money to fund the business use that money to you know what i mean to pay your bills and shit right. so if the business ain't doing too good you know you for sure got this over here you know what i mean don't ever let anybody make you feel crazy about working a job or oh you supposed to be having your own business i seen you punching the clock man fuck all that the job is gonna hold you down Straight like that, especially if it's a career, like you said, nursing, or you know, what I mean, they get the CDLs or some shit. I don't want to, I don't want to force him into like some shit he don't like, or some shit. Well, he don't I, enjoy. I don't want to force him into like trying to do what I'm doing, yeah. you know, at all. I want him if he want. That's why I ask like your kids, they cook or whatever. Yeah. If he don't want to do this, if he don't see the vision in this, 
cool, but I want you to, like you said, be better than what I was. Yeah. I wish I would have went to school, you know, and got a trade and got a trade that wasn't going, you know. Some that, shit people need. So yeah. they always going to need. So I, 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 I'm, I'm pushing nursing. I said, dude, you can be the man by the time you're 24. And I mean, traveling, nursing, making you yeah. some, some Over big traveling, yeah. nursing money, and then do what you want to do. Yeah. Like whatever that is. So that's what I'm trying to get going like, yeah. with him. What's the, um, how do you balance the two? What, balance as in what? Balance the, uh, balance, you know, raising the kids, the at home life, and managing the business at the same time. Because I know they both demanding. Right, right. It's kind of um, was easier in, in my space because my I only have my oldest son in, in Virginia. My, okay. My all my middle sons in, in Vegas. Okay. And then my youngest is in Georgia. Okay. Um, so balancing like the work life and tending to my oldest son because I'm more hands on here. Mm -hmm. it, it's not really that hard, man. He don't mind like if I ask him to get up and come bend with me or do something with me or help yeah. me here, he'll he'll knock it out. And we 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 friends anyway, man. Yeah. So we play chess and. And different stuff, so it's kind of easy in, in 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 that space. More so, mentally understand, trying to understand that he's not me at that age. Right, that's the hardest part. Trying to balance and trying to uh, not necessarily communicate with him. Cause I'm a young dude. I know what's going on. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. like anybody else. But being being able to kind of tap into his brain or be like, yo, you should be doing this because when I was 16, 18, I was, yeah. you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the, that's the only thing I have a hard time like translating um, him not being me at that age. Yeah. But but the business life and the parenting life, that's that's easy. That's, yeah. That comes natural for me. Yeah, facts. Um, damn, you was talking, what did you say? You said the, um, Damn. My bad. I ain't mean to talk. Nah, you good. You good. You good. Nah, I just lost my train of thought. It was something you said. You said, um, dang. I have at least one brain for every episode. Man, I'll be the same way. <laughs> I'm doing my best to keep on. Yeah. You are. You said, um, the fuck did you say, yo? I'm about to move on. What was I? You don't know what I was talking about? Yeah, though? you was talking. You said something. I, forget. <laughs> I just lost it. Damn. You said, um, about him not wanting to be an entrepreneur, maybe. Fuck it, we gonna uh, move on. Yeah, I go. lost it. <laughs> um, you get it back. Yeah, I get it back. Yeah, so um, yeah, you know, like you said, that shit easy. You feel me? Like, oh, that's what it was. It's is like you said. You you mentioned I'm still young, and I feel like that bond I got with my two oldest mm -hmm. because my oldest is only 17 years younger than me. His brother is only uh what two three years younger than him. Right. I'm st I still know what's going on outside. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing y'all can do that I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on. Well, we were before and after you feel the internet, me? G. You feel to... me? And so, so like, yeah. and I'm tapped. I'm tapped into the shit they tapped into. So it's like we can bond easier. You know what I mean? Then I feel like it's like I be looking at my young ones like, man, you know, because I got the I got the five month old at home. I'm like, damn, by the time you 18, I'm gonna be fucking. And they're sixty years old. Like you feel me? Like am I gonna? Am I still gonna be that cool pop? Like am whole, I still gonna be whole new? Per Their job is to take care of you, and, and that's like not necessarily. They're supposed to keep you hip on electronics and stuff yeah. like that. You yeah, know what I mean, and maybe not. You're not supposed to keep you hip on all on all, everything, all right? Play, like, yeah, hey pop, this you can like like keep wear this. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, so they're supposed to take care of you too. So. It's like tenfold. Yeah, facts, facts. Um, so what you got? Uh, what you got coming up? Uh, like I said, I'm working with the biochemist. Um, I got this new business venture that I'm working on. I can't. I'll tell you the name off camera. Okay. Yeah, but, we, we we don't need no um sticky nah, fingers. Nah, man. <laughs> we don't need no sticky fingers. It is in agriculture. Okay. I feel like mm. every person. Um, has a fake or real plant in their crib. Okay. So I'm doing something real creative with that, like real creative. I, I really want to text you the name of it so you can look at it yeah. on camera and be like, Go ahead. Oh, all right, but triple entendre too. Okay. Um, 
My oh, man, shout out, shout out, Twin. I'm looking at my phone. Twin just hit me like, get me on the podcast, nigga. There you go. I sent it to you. Triple entendre. Yeah, I'm working with uh Jeremy Banks for the logo. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's gonna be um real dope. So like you know the style is more of calm, collective. Mm-hmm. Uh. With that particular brand, I'm able to be, you know, uh, real gimmicky, clean, nasty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. One of them type of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, you know, had the commercials with like the the adult funny shit in the commercial right. type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I definitely see that. I definitely nah, see that. It's going to yeah. be cool. It's going to be real cool. Yeah. Like, cause I'm already into like plants and stuff like that. Yeah. Like elephant ears and be digging in pots and getting right you know what yeah I mean? so yeah i'm a country dude so yeah facts it kind of fall in it falls into play i try to all my business i try to make as my lifestyle like not have to change nobody it's not change myself to where i'm at so yeah i've been potting plants you know what i mean and doing this in the third for so long i might as well try to make yeah i'm gonna have to get i'm gonna have to get with you so you go uh teach me a few things yeah. about getting in that dirt um damn what i was gonna say you um you said <clears throat> you had a big following from being ignorant online. Oh yeah. At what point? So so. Talk about this every episode with every guest. Yeah. About the social media presence and having a clean social media, the importance of that, and all this and that. At what point did you say to yourself, "All right, I got to stop being like this, and I got to focus on this online"? Was it immediately when the business started, or did you like, did you like to just start sifting out? No, nah, gradually. No, nah, I wouldn't say that it, it immediately changed. Um, when I say ig- well, when I say ignorant, I just mean I wasn't doing nothing crazy. Cause I ain't even. Yeah, I know character. what you mean. Just, you probably joking and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just some probably some some distasteful jokes. Or yeah, whatever yeah. the case may be for laughs and likes at yeah. the time. Um, but like I, I, it didn't change immediately because, like I said, I was posting and, and nobody. I was posting a business. Or the brand, and nobody knew it was mine. You know yeah. what I mean? It was just more on some that I was shouting the page out. Cause yeah. I had locks and all of that. I would say when I realized, uh, one, I ain't no comedian, that ain't making me no money. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to make no money. You know what I mean? I ain't. I was either posting like, like real ignorant jokes. Or trying to feed like black culture in your face all day. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. You know, Doctor C V. Yeah, uh, yep. You know, just on some. I think we all had our uh, our brother Hotep yeah, moments yeah. On, online at yeah. one point. Boy, I used to go, <laughs> I used to go crazy with the Hotep. Boy, you could. Oh my God, you couldn't tell me I wasn't. Uh, brother was Shaheen, <laughs> brother Shaquille Sunflower. Oh yeah, uh, from Martin. Yeah, boy, man, that was the time. That was definitely the time. But um That's crazy. I got a homeboy in Mississippi to call me Brother Sunflower. It's yeah. The funniest shit in the world, man. Yeah. Um Yeah, and, and you know, like I said, I try to drill that into entrepreneurs and people that got businesses and shit. Like you gotta keep your it's the same shit. Once once you really popping in business, ain't no personal page no more. No. Your per- they watching your personal page too. For sure. And you know that that shit hit me. I already knew that, but it really hit me today. Cause like today? It been hit me, but today I'm like, oh shit. Like I had an old shit moment. Uh. It really started last week for real. I did um Johnny Long Hot's um cheesesteak spot in New Jersey. Okay. I dropped the review. They shared my shit. And then I didn't even I dropped it on some late night shit, went to sleep, woke up, forgot to even check how it was doing numbers wise mm-hmm. and everything. The shit was going crazy. Wifey sent me all the um, reshares, like, yo, look at this. She screenshotted them shits. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, it was a Republican page from Haynesport in New Jersey that shared my shit. Like, go check out Johnny Long. All these conservative pages and shit sharing my shit, like uh, food group pages and shit. And I'm like, oh, shit. That was like my first oh, shit moment. Then today, just this morning, random ass white men commented on my posts and shit. Like, yeah, you got to go go and check this spot out. And I'm looking, I'm like, they follow me and shit. I'm like... Damn, yo, I'm like, this shit about to take off. Like, I got to I gotta remain who I am. Like, I can't start getting on. You know, I would never get on no nah, bullshit, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it just bring me an old shit moment. Like, the world is watching now. Nah, for sure. It ain't just the 757 no more. Right. 
the world is watching, so now I gotta be super careful, you feel me? Like Or do you gotta get or you gotta do it more? <laughs> Fuck you mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah, don't hit me with this shit. Like not saying you you know what I mean, your your sauce is your sauce. Yeah. I mean, like, this is what got the following. This is what I feel like um you speak in a language in which we understand. Right. Versus going in there like, hey, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, you speaking in a language which we get it. Yeah, no, no, no. You know, I would never change the persona of what we was talking about. Right. I'm talking about like, you know, I be on the late night, I be on some- Oh yeah, yeah, you be doing some bullshit? Yeah, I be doing some bullshit yeah, on the late night. I'm like, man, yeah, yeah we text, text that shit to the group. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm go, we gonna have to pull yeah, back yeah, on that I, shit. I would say that. Yeah, we gonna have to pull back on that shit. Yeah, you I know what I mean? I just be trying- Look at you, you know, burn a page. So you, if, you, if you gotta press, you know, some people gotta press that send button. So yeah, yeah. So get your little burner page, you can just say whatever Drop you Drop all the say. bullshit on the burner page. Yeah, 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 facts, facts, facts. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, we got the um, we got the shampoo and conditioner coming. With, with, what's the timeline looking like on that? I don't want to. I do want to give it a timeline, but I don't want to give it a timeline simply because I want to make sure that I got the perfect rollout. I want to make sure that I got money for you want the, the cinem- perfect advertising, the cinematic advertisement, right? Type because shit. I mean, I've I've been doing this for so long, and. I, I'm always so quick to, uh, oh, let me help him get this out. Hurry, let me get this out. You know what I mean? Versus, yeah. nah, let me, if I do this the right way, it can be very, very pivotal in what I'm doing. So I'm just going to take my, it may take, it may take four years, man, to, to come out. I don't know. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm steady pumping. I'm steady going. I'm steady trying to get the best form. And I'm steady and it gotta trying be to be perfect. Do, this shit got to be perfect. It got, it got to be. Yeah. It, this, my next, we trying, next to, jump, we, trying to, we trying to get on them target shelves. Gotta be. You know what I mean? It gotta be, G. Like, it's gonna be, and then it's gonna be like, I, I told you so. Yeah. I told you so. How was that? How was that process working with the um with the engineering shit? Like, do y'all be having a lot of back and forth? Is it a lot of is it a lot of is it a lot of testing, a lot of trials and shit? Like so I'm still in the uh, the beginning stages of communication with the young lady. Okay, um, she's based out of Detroit. Okay, um, so more so, I have to. She pretty much stating that I have to, not necessarily impress her, but she has to. She's one of them type of people that want to work with only particular brands. Right. So I'm in the process of telling my story yeah. and what I want to accomplish in the product. Okay. Um, we haven't talked any numbers or anything to be transparent. Okay. Uh, but we're still in the, the beginning oh, the, stages. The baby, baby stages. Yeah. I mean, it's going to cost me. Yeah. And I, I'm working towards, I know I know it's going to cost me. We yeah. ain't going to talk too much unless some money being shifted over. Yeah. So we're in the, the beginning stages of that. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm excited for that, man. Nah, I can't wait too, for that to drop. Me too, man. I'm, 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 I'm doing the best I can with yeah. what I got. So this is that's gonna be my my next for sure. My next for sure. Like that's like, the, it's that's like one the of next. Thing, it's like one of them things where you know like this shit gonna pop. Yeah, this shit gonna pop. It's gonna That's your next level right there. It's gonna get me there. I, I really outside of the next the other business depth. Yeah. Yeah. This this next joint gonna put me in a a space where I can promote in a completely different manner. Yeah. With confidence. You know, like, like this, you, shit, this shit do this. Um, I'm pretty sure you, you think the, you think the, um, the shampoo and conditioner is gonna, it's gonna give you a chance to take a back seat? For sure. For sure. Um, for sure. Because at that point, that's 100%, 1000% manufactured. Oh, so you only got to touch that? You nah, just, nah, okay. nah, nah, I won't, I won't be, I don't, I don't want to touch anything. Yeah. I don't want to, I want to be able to just to, I, I still want to vent. I like, I like going out of town and yeah. vending. I like the, the hands-on interaction. I like that. Yeah. Um, But I, I really want to just kind of be a representative of the brand versus being everything and maybe have my, my JIT be my, you know, work this and uh, mm-hmm. I do got you know my friends that that purchase in bulk and they do their own vending style yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that but I would love for it to be able to have a nostalgia team to the point where I'm just you just walking in the office making sure the, making sure the wheels is turning 
That's it, man. Yeah, that's it. A that should be the business, goal. That right. should be the goal for everybody. For sure. You know, because once you become a, it's a difference between being a, an entrepreneur, that works in a business and an entrepreneur that works. What I say, the difference between the entrepreneur that works in a business and the one that works on a business. The one that works in a business, which is kind of the stages we in now. Mm -hmm. We kind of coming out of that though. But you know, just like I know, you could become start to become a slave to your own. To your own brand, right, for sure. And at that point, you you just an employee for yourself, for sure. You're not even really. You know what I mean, you making your own money and shit, but at the same time, you still just an employee. You just working for yourself now. I think that's important when it comes to budgeting too. Yeah, and, and you know, knowing your numbers. That's one thing I I'm gonna stress to anyone. Yeah, yourself, whoever. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna say it one more time for myself. Know your numbers, man. Yeah, that's where you can also break away. Yeah, I'm definitely them. gonna get with you off yeah. camera too, because that um. To know you went up thirty six percent, I need to know yeah. what you're using to know that. Yeah. yeah, facts. Yeah, so anything you want to, um, any final words, words of inspiration you want to get to the youth? Anything before we close this up? Words for the youth, and just keep following your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Uh, everybody formula ain't the same. You know, everybody's sauce ain't gonna be the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You make your own sauce once you. If that's your sauce, that's your sauce. You know, you can always add on or take away. Um, just continue just being you. And don't, don't be no follower unless you're following someone that's in the craft of what you want to do. Outside of that, be yourself. Facts. Well, Tony, we appreciate you coming on, my brother. It's always a pleasure. You want to get on the uh, website and um, the ads and all yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can shop online at mynostalgia.com. That's m y n o s t a l j a dot com. The social media is at nostalgia n o s t a j a. Blah, I'm messing all up. <laughs> We're gonna have it in the, in the link anyway. We're gonna have a link in the comments. N o s t a l j a underscore uh, is the uh, Instagram page, man. And uh, shop with me. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely yeah, gonna shop. shop. I'm about to shop with you as soon as these cameras go. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, anyway, like I said, my brother, we definitely grateful to have you on. We probably gonna have you back. We absolutely gonna nah, have you back when I that like, motherfucking um, nah, yeah, when that when that that that, uh, that conditioner miss, shampoo yeah, drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, sure. listen, man. We're gonna wrap this thing up. Another episode of Above the Corner Podcast. My brother Tony McCraven, man. Once again, we'll see y'all next time, y'all.